I just wanted to say as well, when we gaze upon an exquisite piece of art or listen to beautiful music, I really feel that an opportunity arises to connect with the original artist. Often in the most profound way because you're potentially firing the same neurons that the artist did when they created it. We make new neural pathways and stimulate a state of inspiration. And as we mirror the original artist's emotions, we immediately experience something called empathetic resonance which actually connects us to the artist. The artist could be deceased and it would still connect us to the artist. So in that sense, you know, we never really die. We then feel what the artist felt when they created that piece. Not only do we feel a deep connectedness when we review that piece or we listen to some music, but also um, we experience an elevated state of consciousness so this sense of being drawn into a painting or drawn into a piece of music is sometimes referred to as embodied cognition, which is the mind and the body connected. We can experience empathetic resonance in visual, kinesthetic or auditory acuities. Listening to music will often trigger a visual acuity as well, or a kinesthetic feeling sense or a kinesthetic acuity. So the listening part of us will then trigger something visual or something feeling. So for me, this really cements the theory that we are all very much connected and we are all one consciousness. So I really feel that art proves that, that we're all connected. And when I close my eyes, inside and I've never had a trip like this since but I was in the dark I could see I was in the dark but I was going toward the light because there was this curling kind of mother of pearl like conch shell thing and I was in a, like a tunnel with a light coming just from around the side and it was awesome because it was that was it of course this was God this was the light was God and I knew that even if I was in the dark, I was going toward the light. And I saw that all the shades of gray connect both those opposites. And so I changed my name to gray right then. So my art has always been kind of trying to integrate the uh, spectrum of reality into a more holistic picture of the transdimensional, the visionary, and the transcendental because the transcendental art traditions, you know, the, all the sacred arts of all the different world, visionary cultures, because all religion comes from the mystical experience, and that's a visionary experience. And you see it through all the, uh, the mosques are beautifully ornamentally patterned from the same visionary mindscape that a DMT user would recognize. And the same thing goes for the great Christian masterpieces. And all through uh, world religion, there are these waves that have crystallized into these visionary uh, experiences of angels, of demons, of all kinds of worlds. And they're really, it's, it's the thing that connects all the world religions is sacred art. And so we started thinking like, wow, there needs to be a new kind of sacred art that integrates this visionary dimension of where all, all cultures emanate from, the true visionary cultures emanate from this. You see it in the Shipibos, you see it in uh, the Huichole, you see it in uh, so many of these patterns. That the root word of psychedelics means to manifest the soul. And for me now, I mean, I haven't even done psychedelics in like four years, but for me, how I manifest my soul or my consciousness is doing this, these artworks on minds. 